Uh, Bishop, I've got to ask you about Pope Francis. People are are wondering about what to make of Pope Francis and his pontificate in many different ways, lots of different views. It seems to me from reading your book that you would probably not go as far as to call or accuse Pope Francis of being a heretic, but you would say that he is promoting various heresies, or maybe you'd only go so far as to say he's tolerating heresy. In my view, Pope Francis is promoting various heresies. I think you say as much in the book. I'm certainly saddened to say it, as you are, um, but Amoris Laetitia and the support given to the Argentine bishops is just one example. How do you see it? Yes, um, I think he's promoting uh, de facto heresies, not uh, in an explicit and uh, manner, uh, theoretical, but de facto, as you mentioned, when he approved the norms of the uh, Buenos Aires bishops region for the admittance of the divorced and the married people to Holy Communion. And he explicitly approved this possibility that they can be admitted to all the sacraments. Of course, first they were listed up, they had to be invited to live in continents. And when this is not feasible, not possible for them, then the door to the sacraments is open, so it is stated. And the Pope approved this, and even he commanded that this will be, should be included in the official Acta Apostolica Sedis. And then the Cardinal Secretary of State said that this act of Pope Francis is part of the ordinary magisterium. It is very dangerous, but as we know, the ordinary magisterium of the Pope, it's not infallible always, all the time. And we have to abandon this wrong opinion, which was accumulated in the last centuries by even pious people and pious theologians. It, it was an exaggerated uh, papalism, uh, which was not healthy, a kind of, uh, uh, yes, an exaggerated. And therefore, we have to again, to return to the sound Catholic understanding of papacy, which was transmitted by the Church Fathers. Um, and so, because the Pope can do an error in his ordinary magisterium, and he did, the, the Church history demonstrated this in some cases, on, only when the Pope is speaking explicitly ex cathedra, and he has to state this, then uh, he has the assistance of the Holy Spirit uh, that uh, he will be uh, kept from uh, errors. So it is a negative assistance. So the Holy Spirit is assisting that the ex cathedra pronouncements, uh, judgments on, on topics of faith and morals will not be erroneous. Uh, it is not an assistance that this is the best expression, but it will be not erroneous. This is the meaning of the dogma of the infallibility of the Pope. 